Welcome back to the channel Gray Outdoor Solar. My name is Tom and today we're checking out this Brinkley Model G 3500 in the huge solar system that we installed into this thing. We put 2800 watts of solar on the roof, over a 1200 amp hour battery bank, and yes, you might be able to see it in the background, dual inverters. This is a sweet custom system that we did. Today we're actually located in LEJ, Georgia, so if you notice we're not in the shop, that's because we came up here to attend the Brinkley Rally, the unofficial Brinkley Rally, um, so we could answer other questions because a ton of people in the Brinkley Facebook group had questions about this system and they asked us to come up and answer some of those. So we came up here and did just that. Not only do we have experience with doing a Model G behind us, but we've done several other Model Zs as well. And if you're looking for a Model Z or you're looking for pricing, don't forget, you know, always check out our website, greatoutdoorssolar.com. We have all of our pricing right there on our website. Very easy to find. Let's go ahead and jump into this thing. We're gonna start out here in the front of this Brinkley Model G by talking about the inverters that are mounted up here and some of the other components. So as you can see, we have two inverters. Both of these are Victron Multi Plus 2, the two times 120, and they are the 12 3000. They are hybrid inverter chargers. So when you have shore power, the power passes through them just like normal, you have full 50 amp split phase hookup, and it actually uses the incoming power from the shore power source or the generator uh, to recharge the batteries. Each one is a 120 amp charger, so that's 240 amps of charging with these two inverters. Now, if you don't have any shore power, um, or you don't have a generator on, then they're inverting. So they pull from the battery bank and they can create that 4,800 watts for you. Not only that, but they can actually assist the shore power. So say you're plugged into a 30 amp shore power source or you're running the onboard 5,500 watt generator, uh, you can actually dial your current limit down and the inverters will assist from the battery bank. This customer wanted to go with dual inverters so they could run two large appliances at a time. I usually tell people that you can run one large item um, on just a single inverter. So like one air conditioner or microwave or hair dryer or instant pot or anything else that pulls a large electrical load. And so they wanted to run two large items at a time, which is why they have dual inverters. That pretty much covers the dual inverters. We're now gonna switch sides to talk about the solar for a minute. You can see we have two solar charge controllers here. Uh, these are the Victron Smart Solar 250 100s. So each one of these solar charge controllers is connected to a different array. I took some uh, drone footage earlier, I'll show you right now. There's actually 2,800 watts total on the roof of this RV. Now it came from the factory with four 200 watt rich solar panels and we added 2,000 watts or 10 additional rich 200 watt solar panels to the roof for 2,800 watts total. And there's two arrays. One is 1400 watts going to this charge controller, and the second is 1400 watts going to this charge controller, which is why there are two different charge controllers in here. Um, so this gives them 2800 watts of refillable. I mean, that's, that's a lot of solar, so it's really gonna help recharge this large battery bank, which we'll talk about in a minute, um, really fast. Or if they're you know getting some good sun and they wanna run like an air conditioner during the daytime, this is enough solar to like run that AC during the day, which is really, really cool. To the right of these is actually a solar disconnect switch. So this switch here is how you turn off the PV or the solar coming in to the charge controllers. So this connects the panels on the roof from the charge controllers. The reason we like to put this in is so we can put a fuse in, of course, which this is a breaker, but we like to put in a switch so you can turn this off. So if you need to work on the RV for some reason, you wanna turn off your solar coming in so that you don't have any power coming in so it's safe to work on your 12 volt side. And then speaking of turning off your 12 volt, right here below that, are two Blue Seas 350 amp uh, battery disconnect switches. So this allows us to turn off all 12 volt from the batteries that actually live just on the other side of this wall. That's right, did you know that this wall is not factory? It's not, we built this. This wall we put in and carpeted it and we even took out that wall and recarpeted it to match. Um, so this whole thing is something that we added because the batteries live just behind this in this bay. This RV has six 206 amp hour batteries, so it has over 1200 amp hours at 12 volts, so a pretty good sized battery bank. And then you can see we've got a vent up here, but there's actually venting all along the top as well. And if you pay attention, you'll notice that the inverters, the top of them, are actually venting directly into the other bay. And that's because these inverters pull air in from the bottom and vent it out the top. And so it's all gonna get vented into that other area. So when, they, when these get too warm, they'll turn the fans on, move air around, and that will go over into the other side. On the other side of this wall are the six 206 amp hour batteries. It's also where the fuses and the, you know, the bus bars are located. The battery monitor or the battery shunt is located over there. We also have our networking hub, the Serbo GX located over there as well. 
So all of that stuff is hidden behind that wall. And if they remove their stuff out of the pass-through bay, they can actually open up the door and gain access to that uh, pretty easily. And there was more room for more than just the six batteries that are in here. Um, and then we added two vents over there as well, which is quite awesome because everybody always thinks that those are factory, but no, we put those in. Uh, so that way the air can actually be vented into the pass-through bay Unfortunately, the footage on the Model G did not turn out for the touchscreen, but it's the same touchscreen shown here, which is out of the Model Z, the same 7-inch touchscreen. Basically, this is how you control and monitor your system from inside the RV, which is really handy. It also connects to the internet, so you can actually remotely control your system as well or monitor it. Or, of course, we can remote log in for troubleshooting, which is really nice for our clients. Now, if you want to see the touchscreen in action, jump over to our other video, the walkthrough of the Model Z, so you can actually see what the touchscreen looks like in action. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick look of the Brinkley Model G 3500 because you might not see it again because this thing can go off grid for a long, long time. And if you enjoyed this video and more importantly, if you enjoyed this clean work that Adam does, drop us a little note or a small business, any interaction, a like or a comment that says, Adam, you do such good work. Something like that really helps a little small company like us. And if you have questions about pricing or anything like that, you can always reach out to us. We're real people and our website is greatoutdoorssolar.com. We'll see you soon.